TGIF, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to WJZ.com. Gray skies in the area and showers in the region continue for the next few hours. I don't think we clear this light rain out of here until maybe after lunchtime in the early afternoon. But you can be your own weather person on this one. Winds have been from the southwest, been very mild overnight. Heck, at 4 30 in the morning, it was 62. As I make this presentation for you now, it's 60, and temperatures will slowly stair step down during the day. But winds were southwest, now they're west. Once you feel them coming out of the northwest, you know for a fact rain is pushing out and this new air mass is coming into play. This high is driving temperatures down our way. There will be 39 tomorrow and 30 overnight. Now, I point this out for a reason. Chillier air is going to be in place. We're watching an area of low pressure going across the Tennessee Valley that will bust offshore right around the Virginia North Carolina border. And as it gets to the ocean, it's going to kick some moisture back our way into this colder air. And that is going to give us a low impact weather event that quickly ends. High pressure comes into play by Sunday. The sun's out. Temperatures go up to almost 40 degrees and never really get below freezing again for the next five days. As a matter of fact, Clouds and showers come in Monday. We see temperatures get right back up with an arm's reach to 70 degrees again. But we got that little bump in the road tomorrow. Let's take a closer look at the area on the future cast. I'm going to show you this. Keep your eye on the time stamp. Here's that eye. It's just going to be boom at that low. A glancing blow and then out of here. So I don't want anybody to get really overly concerned about this. Clearly, those in control of this advisory. Warning and watch graphic, aren't there? No advisories issued. That, that could change as we move through the day. But a lot of times, if we were getting a five, six, seven inch snowfall, this thing would be lit up like a nightclub on a Saturday night in anticipation of the event. Now, we do think that whatever happens, bottom line will be about this a trace to one inch in the immediate metro, maybe a band, and this is like of a, of a slushy mix. One to two inches in a slight band north of the beltway, and then maybe a little more toward the Mason Dixon line if moisture even makes it back up that far. This will be refined as we move through the day. This day we are dealing with rain, which is getting out of here. And again, temperatures will be falling from where they are right now through the 50s this afternoon, down to 29 degrees under clearing skies overnight. Then tomorrow, here's this bump in the road. But again, Note the temperatures on Sunday. Once we get above 32 degrees Sunday morning, going to a high of 50, we never get below freezing. Then 50, 70, four shy of 70 degrees. Wow. TGIF, everybody. Ain't it the truth? Thanks so much for stopping by WJZ.com.